<laughs> so face me, face the front, please. Face the front, please. Right. So guys, normally this talk is about an hour long. But we're gonna have an hour, obviously. Seriously, right in front of me? You playing games? Right in front of me? Really? Coach Bobby is my name. Quick background. Uh, I'm an army brat. So I grew up all over the world. Born in North Carolina, went to Italy, went to Germany, went to Washington, New Jersey, Texas, and then here. Went to high school in Seaside, down in Monterey. Uh, went to college at UC Davis, where I met Mr. Jones. Uh, after that, started a company, a sports training company, helping student athletes go to college and play sports. So I got married in 2002. 2002? When were you born? Six, right? Oh, six, yeah. Four. Oh, you, no, six, six. Yeah, you don't even know born. <laughs> got married, <laughs> got married in 02, went back to school, got my master's degree, my MBA in finance, right? Worked in corporate America for 10 years as, a, as what's called a CFO, Chief Financial Officer for startup companies. Hated that word, tie. Uh, enjoyed it, but hated being, you know, stressed all week, coming home angry to crying kids. So after my last company got purchased, I decided to give my passion another chance. So I went back and started another company called Ultimate Muscle Confusion that trains, I do boot camp, I do fitness, I'm on Instagram. So my, my, my new venture is trying to bring passion for not just fitness, but, but self-betterment to people, right? Oftentimes through fitness and through sports, but my passion is helping people approach whatever their destiny is with passion. That makes sense? I know, I know you're young, so you don't really have or understand what that might mean yet, but I'm trying to teach people of all ages to attack what they want with passion. Why, I, why I'm certain that what I tell you guys about the five, the five keys or the five steps to greatness, how I know that that's correct. I used it, didn't know I was using it, but I used it when I was younger to play college, but, but I succeeded Right, and, and my and my desire to play football at a high level, right? Used it again, this formula, which I did not know what it was back then again, used it again to get a master's degree in finance, to run two companies and get them acquired and make more than a million dollars over 10 years. And now that I left that, I'm trying to do something else I'm passionate about and I'm realizing that a lot of the steps that I'm talking about, I'm struggling in. And so now I know that, that those steps are integral. Yes? All right. So number one, step one, guys, is you have to want to be something. Right? Raise your hand if you know what you want to be when you grow up. Boom. No, sir. Basketball player. Okay. Anybody else? Yes. Huh? On, on your own barbershop. I love it. I love it. Creative writer. I love it. Anybody else? Yes. FBI, ooh, FBI agents, very NFL player. All right, so the first step, guys, is you have to want to be it. I don't mean just like write it down occasionally. Like you have to eat, sleep, and breathe wanting that. So we want things that are hard to attain. So because it's hard to attain, you can't just kind of want it. You know what I mean? Oh, kind of, I guess, kind of, you know. I want to be in the NBA one day, but I don't want to do push-ups. When, when a guy who understands how to train is out here to help me understand how to train. Right? I want to be a rapper, but I don't want to buy a dictionary. I don't want to read. How you have, how you be a wordsmith and don't read? And I'm not saying you should want it. I'm saying that if, if you want it, you have to want it. Want it, guys. Like, like wake up, dream about it, write it down, put it on your board. Go on, and now it's easier than ever. Everyone who's older in the room, we didn't have access to all this stuff that, that would help us dream about it. There's no reason like that. If you want something, you can't see it every morning when you wake up. And I'm saying you have to see it every morning when you wake up if you want it. You have to want it, right? Step two is you have to believe you can make it. And that's where a lot of people fall short. That's where I'm falling short. Right? So I, I made it in football. Not once did I believe I wouldn't play in the professional ranks. Not once did I believe that. I don't know why, but I, didn't, but I always believed it. Right? I wanted it really bad, and I believed it. Right? Not once did I believe I wouldn't get an MBA in finance. 
and running the fire department for two companies. But, but now that I'm, that I'm trying to be a fitness guru around the country and be on YouTube and Instagram, I grew up with a stutter. I was afraid to talk in front of people. I mean, Artemis probably don't remember. I probably didn't even talk to him in college that much. I was trying to hit him. <laughs> receive, a, receive a cornerback. I tried to hit him, right? But I wouldn't talk to anybody. I was afraid to talk, right? I would drop classes in college that had as part of the grade an oral presentation that I'm doing now. Get the syllabus. Oh, yeah, I got to drop that, dude. Oral presentation, I'm dropping that. Right? If you don't believe me, you can play the NFL, you won't do it. I don't care how bad he wants it. Your subconscious, right, which is what governs most of our actions, right, our subconscious. Right? And everything that, that, we've, that we've had happen to us in our lives to this point becomes part of that talk, that self-talk we have. You're stupid. You're dumb. You can't do it. How can you do it? They can't do it. Where, where you come from? Right? You all have it. Don't you don't have it. You all have it. I'm too fat. I'm too, I can't talk well enough. I'm too short. It ain't cool to do that. Right? So until that voice shuts up and we train it to shut up, we can't make it. Right? And now it's, it's easier than ever for you guys to find a way to believe. When you leave the door, you wanted it, you woke up, you wanted it. When you leave the door, if the whole world tells you you can't do it, how are you going to believe it? You think you can do it and fight yourself? You can't. You've got to find ways to fight it, that voice. Because the whole world around you is telling you, oh, don't go out, don't do that. Don't, let's go out and have fun. You got a book, I'm going to read a dictionary. For what? You're going to be a rapper? Oh, really? you going to be a rapper? Really? Who from Pittsburgh raps? All right, so step three, right, real fast. Step three, I'll tell you, I, I can do this all day. Step three is you just got a goal, right? More people that I talk to wait around for the perfect opportunity for all the stars to align to start their journey, right? I can't start till I get a trainer. I can't start until I finish high school. I can't start. You can do stuff right now to move you towards your goal, right? Want to be in the NFL? Every night do push-ups. Right? You want to be a writer? Every day write some things. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, you can do steps right now that move you towards your goal. Right? Right. Make sense? So, instead of waiting around, just get started. Right? I'm scared to speak. Believe it or not, I'm scared to speak. Right? As soon as Artemis, Mr. Jones, emailed me, bam, hook me up. Right? Then I figure out, oh, I gotta make it, I gotta do a presentation, I gotta make sure it's perfect. No! Go do it! Go do it! Do something right now! Right? Like you want to be it. You want to be it. Right? And you believe you can be it. Start something now toward that goal. Am I right? All right. Step one. Morning. 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 Step two. Believe. Believe it. Step three. Go. I call it get in the car and go. go. You don't need to wait to know that some of the stuff you're going to do is what you need to do. Right? I want to be a rapper. I don't need to know how to find a, a producer or an agent, right? I do know I didn't know how to use words correctly. I could buy a dic or borrow a dictionary today. I could learn 20 new words today. I could study the life of Tupac today. Right, right now. There are things you can do right now, like today, without knowing the exact details of how to, how to make it happen. 